Sup, 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 guys, we're here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Welcome to Tech Tuesday, your Tuesday weekly discussion video on single cards that you should be paying attention to. This week we got Dimensional Boundary. This comes from Invasion Vengeance. I've talked about this a few times, but I've never gone in-depth to put it on Tech Tuesday because I was waiting for the week of Comic-Con. Hello. And, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to do it then. So you declare one monster type, Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, or Pendulum. This turn, neither player can special summon monsters of the declared type. Also negate the effects of face-up monsters on the field of the declared type while they are on the field. You can activate one of these per turn. So I often usually say that this is pretty much like a cold wave, but in trap formation for monsters. And that's pretty much the best way to really put it, is that it's a cold wave for monsters. In the sense that Cold Wave would stop your opponent from playing spells and traps and not being able to set them, this pretty much does the same thing in the form of a Vanity's Emptiness, but for monsters. The beautiful thing is that this doesn't just hurt the extra deck, it hurts every single deck out there except for just pure effect monsters, which there's none of anymore. Everyone is working on a Pendulum deck or an XC deck or even a Ritual deck, so you're going to be hit by this some form, somehow, some way. And, dare I say, this will probably become some sort of near-staple, staple side deck card at the very least in the upcoming weeks as we get closer to Invasion Vengeance. I'm telling you, this thing is deserving of a type. So you only have to declare one monster type. So, if I know you're playing Rituals, I'm going to call Rituals. If I know you're playing, obviously, something like Fluffles, I'm going to call Fusions. And if you're playing something like... Dark Synchro, I'm going to call Synchro, so that way I stop you for that turn. So pretty much how this works is that you're nullifying your opponent's turn. You're saying, hold on, go to timeout, I'm not going to allow you to make your giant play, and then you can have field presence and control the board. That is amazing by itself. This card should be looked at, but I don't feel like enough people are looking at it until someone tops with it. That's kind of the thing. This feels more anti-meta than every anything, but this is one of the most splashable cards you easily can because there's no cost. All you have to do is just declare one type of card. So what if your opponent is playing Shadals? Do you call Exceeds or Synchro? Well, it depends on the variant because if I know they're playing the Train variant, I'm calling Exceeds because that's the bigger threat. If I know my deck is hurt by something like Ophion and I'm playing Blue Eyes and I go turn one, yes, I can establish a Spirit Dragon, which is incredibly hard for that deck to pretty much jump over without them going into, you know, like a Utopia Lightning. But at the same time, I could stun them. Or if I'm playing the Evil Swarms, and I could call against Blue Eyes, I can call Ritual if they're playing Chaos Max. I can call Synchro if they're playing the typical version, or the Exceed, whatever's going to hurt me more. Now, if your opponent is playing a Pendulum deck, which we know Metaphos are going to probably be the one, hey look, just call Metaphos. This turn, a player can special summon monsters to declare a type, so they could still use their effects, but they can't special summon them and that's what hurts the most you're taking away the whole you can special summon this turn clause so it's a cold way for special summons and it's a beautiful thing when you do that because they're just going to sit there and go oh fuck me i can't do anything against this abc is going to be popular call fusion simple as that you don't really got to worry about the uh the monsters themselves this just gives you more time to set up you know less buster dragon coming out to the board more ways of dealing with their crap, especially if you have this in Kaiku. Ooh, it's beautiful because they can't banish out, and you could banish out, which means they're stuck. Now, there is Winter Cherries, obviously, for the ABC matchup, but having more options than just one is crucial. And Kaiju ABC is starting to float around, so we need another way of dealing with them. This is another way of dealing with them. Whatever deck you're going against, 90% of the time, because there are the random rogues like Ghost Trick, I guess if I want to call them rogue, the, you know, the locals decks that are not going to be really super heavy affected by this, but regardless, across the board, lots of decks are going to be affected by this. So if I'm going against Treat Toad Hero, I just call Fusion, and I don't got to worry about Dark Law. I call Exceed, I ain't got to worry about Treat Toad. Whatever one is going to stop me more is the one I'm going to stop right away. In my case, 90% of the time, I'm going to call Exceeds to get rid of Treat Toad, so that way it's not coming out this turn. And that means Bahamut Shark's not coming out this turn. That means if I see that second Bubble Man, and I chain this to that second Bubble Man, and I declare Exceeds... They can't make the play that they want to from there, and it's beautiful. Or I can let them come out with the Bahamut Shark, call this right before they would activate effect, do it on summon, and problem solved. 
Let me know what you guys think about Dimensional Boundary down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the Legendary Dex 2 here on the channel. And for Stock Market earlier in the day. Because like I said, Thursday is the first day of Comic Con New York. So I'm not going to be able to put together a stock market the typical way I want to. The way I, the way I hold my standard up to. So I'm going to do it tomorrow for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button.